Welcome to the guide for the top three plantar fascia stretches. And I'm not just going to teach you how to stretch, but start thinking about some other things that may be causing your pain that will be very useful to you. So number one, there's a million expensive products out there. Do you really need them? Maybe not. Maybe you do. Number one, there's a million other reasons besides the plantar fascia that could be causing your foot pain. There's nerves, there's tendons, there's other ligaments moving through there. The plantar fascia is what's going to come up though as the popular gimmick online because there's stuff that could be sold to make money for it. Just be aware of that. So the anatomy is you have tendons, nerves coming through there. It's not just the plantar fascia that you see down here. There is a lot of important and pain-inducing structures that come through here. So think about going to see your doctor before you listen to anything on the internet. Number two, the plantar fascia will most likely hurt in these areas right here and travel along these thick bands, especially if you pull your big toe up. So this is what it should look like when you pull your toe up and it should be tight through there. So right around there. The reason plantar fascia happens is because something is most likely, and by most likely, I mean definitely, wrong with your biomechanics. You can treat the pain, but it's like taking care of the bruise, but not taking care of the punch that's creating the bruise. So your bruise is going to be numb, but that fist is going to keep hitting that bruise and making it worse over time. So don't make the mistake of just treating it because in six months it will be back and be significantly worse. So analyze what's wrong with your biomechanics, tight hips, tight hamstrings, knee pain, because that's what you really have to fix. So all that is, your leg is turning abnormally or putting abnormal stress on your heel and your foot as you walk through your normal gait. So look at this, a tight ankle that needs to get 90 degrees should come down like this, but if you need more than 90 degrees because your knee or your hip or hamstring is tight, your foot's going to bend and put abnormal stress across the bottom of your foot. All your body weight's going to come down the middle and your plantar fascia is going to absorb tension as seen here and it's going to compress on top so you're going to get midfoot pain on top and plantar fascia pain at the bottom as well as Achilles tendon pain. So stretching it is is the underlying aspect. You got to stretch number one your plantar fascia so by pulling up your foot at your ankle. You can also stretch it on stairs or I like to do it on a towel as well. 30 seconds about three times. You can also push it up against the wall or a, or a post like this. Number two if you have tight hamstrings that force is going to be transmitted through your legs so stretch your hamstrings at the same time. Next, your glutes or your hips could be tight. So see how she's pushing up her right leg with her left leg? You do that for both legs until you feel the stretch through your glute. And then if you're not keeping up with your stretches, then you can start relying on the more advanced devices that are out there, which I won't get into here because it's probably best to start the cheap route and start stretching yourself because if you keep up, that's the way to go. Now, you're correcting the biomechanics through your stretching. You can start massaging, you can start icing, and that will get rid of the pain. But don't just rely on these things because your pain will come back worse if you don't correct the cause. You can try all these other things. Again, don't do it without talking to your doctor. But some of these things can start getting you good results. Then, controlling the biomechanics even more these pads, these stretching devices, shoe recommendations, these are for the general population because as you can see everybody's foot differs. That's why it's so impossible to not give good recommendations online. You've got to be able to be seen by your doctor in person because every foot is different. Every foot requires different modifications. As you can see these are modifications for all the different foot types, different types of materials, and even different shoe modifications that could correct the abnormalities in your hips, knees, and feet. So a little bit more to think about. 
and then if all that stuff doesn't get you healed, 95% of the people it will. You might be having some type of nerve impingement, chronic nerve pain if you're up at night and it's radiating. But again, you can go a million different routes at this time. If you want to learn more and explore different options, come to michiganfootdoctors.com and check out uh, more information and things that you could do about your plantar fascia. And who knows, maybe it's other pain and you've been mistreating it all this time. That's why it's not getting better. Do not try any of this at home alone without supervision. This is presented by Michigan Foot Doctors. If you think our information helped you, give us a thumbs up and come visit the site for even more.